My name is Kimberly Sende, and the name of my studio is Inspire Aerial Arts. I've been doing aerial silks for about seven years, and the moment they put me upside down, I was in love. One of the things that makes silks a really good workout is it kind of tricks you into working out without really thinking that you're working out. So for people like me who get bored very easily, it's a great way to work out. So my name is Patrick Donahue and we're going to be doing some aerial arts today. My name is Katie Carpenter. I've never tried it before. I would say I feel a little like pre-nausea about it. I'm a little, a little scared. <laughs> My ideal aerial student is honestly anybody that's willing. On their very first day, they can expect to have fun. They can expect to go upside down. They can expect to be a little bit sore the next day. They can expect to do something that they haven't done before. My shoulders ended up towards my kneecaps. I don't know how that happened. Well, I've seen it on TV, so I guess it's all right for people to do, but I... Going upside down, all of my back fat was just slid up my body. I haven't done anything like this. The closest thing is pole dancing at my sister's bachelorette party. Maybe it's the same, probably not. I was in a cocoon. I didn't even know that was possible. You know what I'm saying? I've had people tell me you're crazy. I'm not going to do this. <laughs> it's never going to happen. Um, and then they get it, and it's like magic. The look on their faces has to be the most priceless thing I have ever seen. So the class was awesome. Oh my God, I'm still alive, so that's cool. It was a surprisingly good workout. And it was cool, it was fun. I would absolutely do it again. The great thing that I really try to emulate in our studio is that we meet you where you are. There's no such thing as too old or too young, too small or too big. Coming from someone who did not necessarily have a dance or ballet background, and that was really important to me knowing that I couldn't do everything in the beginning, having done so much that I thought I couldn't do, I know it's possible. And so for my students to get to that point, I really cherish that and it's one of the things I love about teaching.